uh, you all all champ all this World Cup stay in Chisinau and uh, fan for your uh, football football team. Uh, what your expectation about uh, the team about the game? Uh, yeah, I stayed for the whole World Cup in Moldova. I watched every game. Uh, most of the games I watched alone. Uh, some of them with friends. My expectations were exactly a little bit higher than what we did. So I expected that we will win the World, uh, world Championship. Do you, do you like this World Cup in Russia? Very much. Very much I liked it. I thought it was a great uh, World Cup organization and people were happy. And there were no incidents. Everything was so positive. Croatia had a very good, uh, big, beautiful uh, fan zone in Moscow from what I heard. And uh, I liked the way people were uh, supporting their countries without any incidents and loving what they, they represent. Before the World Cup, uh, you do you believe that uh, your national team can uh, do for the for the final? And Absolutely, uh, I thought that we will really? win. I, I was sure that we will win. I was a little bit disappointed that we didn't win. I was <laughs> I was convinced that we will be first. Actually, when I told to other people that we will come to the finals and we will win, they laughed at me. I don't know why. <laughs> I was convinced. But you're not disappointed <laughs> that your team in the final lose? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, a little bit. Uh, yeah, because I expected that uh, from the beginning that we will win. Uh, what game actually do you like, or do you remember more the other games in a, in a this World Cup? Um, the game with Russia. Russia. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit strange for me, uh, probably because of the, some personal reasons, because my boyfriend is, uh, was a Russian football uh, fan. Uh, and uh, the finals, the finals were, and that was a great game. I really liked it, no matter, no matter the result, it was a good game. Do you remember your emotions about the, when when France scored first goal and the second goal? And uh, do you think, oh my God, what's happened? Yeah, I, I remember that I turned off the TV. Uh, I can, didn't watch can it. Can you compare fans of uh, for Moldova and uh, for Croatia, and uh, maybe some some difference between uh, there? Unfortunately, I can't because I don't know any fans of <laughs> Moldova <laughs> football team. I I saw people. Uh, uh, the last game I was just with other people. Most of the games I passed by myself, so I didn't see other people uh, rooting. And, and anyway, Moldova was not... You don't see time. matches in, on, a, on a public places, no. or you look just at home? Just at home. Yeah. But um, Croatia is um, like, a, like a Moldova, it's not so big, with yeah, not it's a, a lot very of people. Similar, very well, it's, um, maybe you can uh, compare... The two countries? So I um, find myself very comfortable here, uh, just probably because uh, I find these similarities between the two countries. Yes, we are four million people country like you. Okay, mm, the geography is a little bit different. We have the sea and the mountains. Uh, and uh, um, the, the, the biggest difference that I noticed is uh, uh, the love of the Croatian people towards their country, no matter how uh, many problems the country may have we stay very truthful to our uh, roots. Uh, of course, uh, open-minded towards uh, all other countries, no nationalism, no hatred, just love to our uh, own country. This is something that I um, lately don't see in, uh, in Moldova, in Moldovan people. I don't see this kind of uh, attraction and love and respect to their own country. You are from Croatia? And yes, uh, I'm from Zagreb. How long do you stay here? This is the seventh year. Seventh year. And, uh, Sorry for this question, why you changed uh, the country? Uh, actually, I left Croatia when I was 22. I went to Italy, I lived 15 years in Italy. Uh, then I came here, most of uh, because of the business idea uh, that brought me here, and production of, uh, of bicycles in Moldova. Um, and then for my personal uh, social, uh, let's say, uh, involvement uh, here in Moldova. Uh, say Three things. Uh, what you like in in this country, or just in the, or concretely in this city? Uh, what I like about uh, Kishinau, I have to say, I, I have a lot of friends here. I made made in six years more friends in Moldova than in fifteen years in Italy. You can say people. So it's people. people. So it's people. And then uh, uh, the wine, the food. Wine. Uh, the simplicity. The wine. The, the simplicity of uh, life, 
which Europe is starting to lose lately. And, uh, and my animals, that now I have my animal family here, my friends. Um, actually, we are in your office, it's your office. Yeah, this yeah. is our office. Uh, tell me a little bit about um, your, your business, because it's a, for me it's, it's an amazing place, but it's a, um, here in the bicycles. Uh, why you choose bicycles for a business? Uh, uh, that was not my idea. Uh, that was Andre Andrei Chmiel's idea. He's a former sporting cyclist, professional cyclist with a very long career. So it was his idea. Uh, before coming here, we were considering to go somewhere out of Europe in order to make a business that will not cost us uh, such enormous amounts of money. Uh, we were choosing between Serbia, Croatia, Moldova. Uh, Serbia was giving very good, uh, good uh, help to, to, the, to the producers. At the end, we chose Moldova uh, because Andre anyway grew up here. Uh, he knows the country and he feels himself home here. That's why we came here. We started a business of production of bicycles, mostly concentrated on export. Uh, now we are also working on the local market and working pretty well. We are waiting for the country to have uh, maybe a better roads so people will use, uh, uh, more likely will use the bicycle. In the meantime, we are exporting what we can. And tell me a little bit for maybe the last question about your plans for the future. In, uh, not uh, for just a business, but maybe, maybe personal plans. What you want to do? Because uh, you're staying, uh, you're, you're looking very, very good. You're uh, looking, you're watching football. You're uh, doing business. And uh, it's, uh, it's a good life in, uh, in, uh, in this country. What you do for next? Uh, my next move. Um, my next move is to, first I want to put all Moldavian people on our bicycles, that's first. I want to see people going to work, going to shopping, going to the market on a bicycle, my bicycle, ours. Uh, that's first. And uh, from the personal uh, side, I don't know, I want to stay here. I like this country, I, I want to stay here. Okay, thank you very much for the interview and uh, good luck in the future and uh, thank you. You're welcome.